Alright, uh, newest thing. Basically, I have this Logitech controller hooked up via USB uh, to my laptop here. And what I want to be able to do eventually is control a robot using the two joysticks here. Uh, one for the left tread, one for the right tread. Um, and so I'm, I want to be able to do that via Bluetooth. There's my Bluetooth module there. Um, and so what I did is bought a blue Smurf uh, Bluetooth radio from from SparkFun, and here you can check out the circuit that's going on. We got my AT Tiny 84 running right here, blue Smurf, um, and two LEDs. Right now I have um, it set up to send bytes to the blue Smurf. That's interpreted by the microcontroller that will turn on the lights according to how far I have um, tilted this joystick, the left one. If I go up, the the top LED light brightens up. If I go down, the bottom LED brightens up. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can see these both together. Alright, I'm going to go up. And now I'm back to the middle. I'm going to go down. I can't have my light on, otherwise it's too hard to see the LEDs. But I'll just make motion a few times here. You can see that it's working. Um, and I hope you believe me it's going via Bluetooth. Like I said, it's it getting power from USB right now. But, but yeah, definitely all data is being sent over via Bluetooth. It's it's a, uh, right now I have a C-sharp um, form going that shows you what the number is that it's sending over. The second two zeros will be for the right one. And actually it's set up, but it's not being sent or interpreted because um, I only have two PWMs working right now because of one timer. But besides that, uh, as you can see, or I hope you can see, sorry for the darkness. You can maybe see my thumb better there, but So I think I'm going to have a pretty nicely responding robot that I can drive with my laptop wirelessly uh, through Bluetooth and eventually my phone uh, with the Android operating system. So so this is uh, this is really coming along very nicely. These will, these pulse width modulation um, signals will be interpreted or they will come into a motor controller eventually. But I haven't bought them yet. Um, I did buy the robot though, so and that's that's uh, written about in some other posts. But yeah, cool. One motor, pretty much, uh, pretty much prototyped and going here.